Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Pyathlon. Today's video will be a bit different from our usual videos, but I wanted to take some time to discuss the cryptocurrency that I find to be very interesting. That cryptocurrency is Cartesi. For those of you who may be unfamiliar with Cartesi, Cartesi is a platform that enables developers to build decentralized applications and smart contracts. One of the cool things about Cartesi is that these smart contracts and decentralized applications can be built using mainstream software development languages such as Python, Ruby, and Linux. This gives developers the ability to work in programming languages they are familiar with, which can potentially speed up the rate of adoption of this platform. This is a huge advantage of this platform. Let's take a minute or two to discuss what decentralized applications and smart contracts are. Let's pull that up. The definition of a decentralized application can be read on the screen, but it is essentially an application that runs on a distributed computing system and no one entity has total control over the system. A smart contract is a self-executed contract that is written into code. It is immutable, so no bad actor can manipulate the contract. Smart contracts allow developers to build decentralized applications on top of the blockchain. With that being said, Let's go back to discussing Cartesi and CTSI. The native cryptocurrency token for the Cartesi platform is the token CTSI. CTSI is a utility token for the Cartesi network. Users of the network can stake CTSI tokens and receive CTSI in exchange for doing so. If you visit explorer.cartesi.io, which is the page that I'm on now, you can see a lot of important information about this crypto. The current price of the coin is about 73 cents at the time of recording. This means the total market cap of CTSI is about $226 billion USD. As far as cryptocurrencies go, that is not a large market cap. For comparison, Bitcoin has the largest market cap of any cryptocurrency at the time of recording, and Bitcoin's market cap is around $712 billion USD. Even the coin with the 10th highest market cap right now, Bitcoin Cash has a market cap of over $12 billion. $226 million is a very small market capitalization, but that also means that this coin can have a lot of room to grow. If this coin grows to a market cap of $1 billion, that will be a substantial increase in the price of the crypto. But we'll talk more about price later in this video, so stay tuned for that. We'll look forward to price in a couple of minutes, but from now, Let's take a look back and focus on the history of this coin and its development team. So this is on Cartesi's homepage. Cartesi was founded in 2018 by Eric DeMora, Augusto Texera, Diego Nahab, and Colin Steele. Let me know in the comment section if I mispronounced any of those names. So let's just look at what their development team was up to before they founded Cartesi. We're going to take a look at their chief executive officer and co-founder, Eric DeMora, and their chief technology officer and co-founder, Diego Nahab. So let's scroll down. So I did some research on them. This is their CEO, Eric DeMora. Mr. DeMora formerly worked at a blockchain observatory. and Before that, he was a software developer with many years of software development experience. And so let's go down to their CTO, Diego Nahab. Diego Nahab was a professor for 11 years, and before that, he was a postdoctoral researcher. He has a very strong academic background. So you can see here that their team is fairly large, which is good for a cryptocurrency, and their team also seems to be well-versed in technology and cryptocurrency, which is a good sign for the future development of the platform. Now that we have covered the development team and history of the platform, let's talk about some more benefits of the platform. One of the benefits can be highlighted here, this massive scalability. The Cartesi network has the ability to process information off-chain with the same security as the main blockchain. This makes the network a lot more scalable, which is a huge benefit compared to other platforms that may struggle with scalability issues. White paper, where I will highlight several key pieces of information. I would recommend at least skimming the white paper of cryptocurrencies you plan to invest in, just to make sure you understand the underlying technology of each crypto. However, these white papers can be very complicated and full of technical jargon, so don't beat yourself up if you don't understand everything. There have been many times where I've been reading white papers and did not fully understand the concept. 
With that being said, I first want to draw your attention to the abstract, which I'll highlight here. We're not going to cover this entire white paper. I'm just going to highlight two important parts that I would recommend you read if you plan to invest in Cartesi or just want to learn more about it. So the abstract here discusses a lot of things we've covered already. It talks about Cartesi's purpose and how it uses both blockchain and off-chain components to improve scalability and computational power. This abstract also talks about how Cartesi has strong conflict resolution measures, which allows disputes resulting from computations to be resolved with negligible cost to the blockchain. The other thing I want to show you in this white paper is near the bottom. So we're going to go to page 14, and there's this section here about the Cartesi SDK. For those of you who may not be familiar with the SDK, SDK stands for Software Development Kit, and it's essentially a package that allows developers to build on the Cartesi platform. And why that's really important with a crypto like Cartesi is because it's designed for developers to build decentralized applications and smart contracts on. So what's going to be driving adoption is developers actually using this SDK to build on the platform. So if a lot of developers start building on it and people start to see Cartesi's value, then we can expect to see the price of the CTSI token increase in value. But if it's not adopted and people don't build on the platform, then the CTI, CTSI token will likely not have very good price performance. So I just want to take a quick minute to say, if you've been watching the video for this long, then you should consider liking, commenting, and most importantly, subscribing. Pyathlon will continue to deliver videos about emerging technologies and cryptocurrency, as well as how-to videos. So stay tuned and be sure to click the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Now let's get back to the video and talk about the price history of Cartesi. So as you can see on this chart here, that for essentially all of 2020, the price of the coin hovered between 5 cents USD and 10 cents USD. But then in 2021, you can see the coin shot up in price fairly rapidly to an all-time high of over $1.70. And then it went back down, and it's now currently trading at about in that 70 to 75 cent range. But the question that I'm sure you all want to know is, is Cartesi a good coin to buy at this price? Well, let me start by saying that I am not a financial advisor, and I am not here to provide you with investment or any other kind of financial advice. I am simply here to educate you on the basics of a cryptocurrency. Remember that cryptocurrency is extremely volatile, so invest at your own risk, do your own research, and please come to your own conclusions. I am not one of those people who likes to predict the price of any asset, so I will not give you my price predictions, but I will pull up several price predictions on CTSI so that we can evaluate how bearish or bullish other people are on this crypto. So we're going to start by going to Wallet Investor, which I have pulled up here. So you can see that they're saying the current price is around $0.74, cent, which remember the price has been fluctuating today between about $0.70 and $0.75. Cents. And so on Wallet Investor, the one-year price forecast is over $3.50. And their five-year price forecast is around $13.5. So Wallet Investor is very bullish on the price of CTSI. So let's pull up a, a get a second opinion on this. So digital coin price, they predict by the end of 2021, the price of the coin will be over a dollar. And by the end of 2025, the price will be over $2.30. So once again, they're not as bullish as the previous prediction we looked at from Wallet Investor. But they are still bullish on the price of the coin. Alright, so we're going to pull up one more price prediction. We're going to look at CryptocurrencyPricePrediction.com. And so let's see what they say for the end of 2021. They think the price of Cartesi in December 21 will be over $4.5. So this is a very bullish price prediction. And let's look at their, their four-year prediction. So for the end of 2025, they're predicting the price will be a whopping almost $37. So cryptocurrency price predictions is extremely bullish on Cartesi. Now, I will say every time I look at these price predictions, I always take them with a massive grain of salt, especially, well, we're not necessarily in the bull market now as of the past week. But when people are in bear markets, they tend to make very grandiose price predictions. So take all of these with a grain of salt. I'm just showing them to you so you can know that in general, people are bullish on the price of CTSI.
Now, also remember, these are not my price predictions. These are just price predictions from the internet that I'm just incorporating. So we can generally evaluate how bullish or bearish other people are in the price of this coin. So let's say you want to buy CTSI. Where can you buy it? At the time of recording, you can buy it on many uh, crypto exchanges, including but not limited to Coinbase and Binance. I know those are the two of the most popular crypto exchanges. And so this concludes our explanation of Cartesian and its CTSI token. I hope you found this video informative and learned something. And as always, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.